Hi guys, happy bloody Christmas. I hate Christmas, I really do. Ooh. Anyway, um, yes, raw therapy. Raw therapy latest version 5.7. Yes, now it used to be working on this machine until Adobe made Photoshop lose compatibility with Sierra as an operating system and so I had to update to High Sierra and now Raw Therapy 5.7 on my machine doesn't work and that's basically because if I hit the um, Apple logo here and I come, on, come and go about this Mac and then I go System Report I think it's on system report and uh, where are we software when you go to the software tab on your system report on a Mac it tells you what operating system you're running in this instance 10136 and then you get this fit number here and uh, in brackets and this is 17G9016 and that's called your build number yeah and Strange as it may seem, you can get two Macs that are running exactly the same version of the same operating system and they've got separate build numbers. Mm -hmm. So when my build number changed to 17G9016, Raw Therapy 5.7 no longer worked. And so what I had to do was reinstall 5.6. 5 and the last couple of videos I've done have actually been working in raw therapy 5.6 but let's just uh, close that window down and close that down because i don't need it anymore and um, if i whip over to the interweb and uh, i will put this link um, in the description below if you go to that link and you download this zip file here bear in mind this is if you're on a mac um, this will give you a latest development build of Raw Therapy 5.7, which does run on High Sierra. And it's working on this machine, on this build number anyway. And I suppose for Windows users, um, yeah, you will be able to find a build number that is compatible with this for Windows. And the only reason I say that is because this build number contains a new item for processing your images, namely for sharpening your images. And it is over here on the raw development tab, and it's here. Capture sharpening. Woohoo! Now then, if you hear clicking in the background, that's because Richard has bought me this beast. Yes, a Kingston <sighs> trackball. Yeah, <laughs> what a beast of a thing it is. Uh, because my mouse was getting a bit knackered, and uh, so yes, he's bought me that trackball there. Very nice, very comfy. Still trying to get used to it, um, but it does work very well in conjunction with the. Uh, Wacom tablet but anyway we digress and um, I'll just show you what this image looks like in Lightroom and um, if we just flip over to Lightroom woohoo that's Lightroom's default display of this self-same raw file too saturated and way too much contrast doesn't look natural yes we can change it just by clicking my um, process version 5 dynamic range extension yeah and it looks very much like especially if I knock the exposure out of it I suppose in a way it does look very much like the raw therapy rendition but you know I mean the raw therapy rendition is here mm -hmm. ready to rock and roll don't forget raw therapy free yes free now then what I want to do is just show you this little thing that's coming 
to um because as i said this is a development build so it's not on public release yet but this is an indicator that um this will be coming to a public version very very soon capture sharpening yeah really cool so i'm going to take this up to a one-to-one -one view so we can see and yeah it's totally unsharpened but if i activate capture sharpening whoa, look at that sharp as sharp can be yeah now i'm going to come back and discuss these things in a moment but if you go back to your traditional sharpening or if you like it creative sharpening tab inside of raw therapy people quite often say to me oh, I don't like the sharpening in raw therapy because in Lightroom I can make a mask no you can't no you can't you can turn a variable mask on yeah and you can make it stronger or weaker and um, the thing is there is automatically a mask put on inside of raw therapy the minute you activate the sharpening module up here and it's controlled by this contrast threshold but the only thing is you can't see it you can and i'll show you how to see it in a moment but bear in mind in lightroom for all you lightroom fanboys you do have to hold the alt or option key down and drag the mask inside it so you can see the mask so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click back on the raw tab we've got the capture sharpening enabled so we'll discuss this in a moment i'm just going to make the image fit to screen and i'm just going to add a little bit of contrast to it by going for a control cage and there we go it's on gone to its previous adjustment i think we'll just lift the highlights up just a little bit and there we go just made a i've just added a little bit of contrast to it i might actually even just add a little tiny bit of exposure compensation quarter of a stop there and now i'm going to come back to the sharpening panel i'm not going to turn sharpening on but your mask is controlled by this contrast threshold and if i go and activate this second button here in fact if we go and activate the first one you'll see these green dots have now come over the image and those are indicating all the areas of the image that raw therapy deems to be in focus all right so you can see where the focus wanders off towards the lens and away from the lens and away from the focal plane which is basically on the face here um, so we can control the mask if we just take that off by clicking this next button here and there you go one sharpening mask we haven't turned it on it's on all the time what we have done is we've made it visible so don't forget in lightroom if you have the masking slider turned down all the way to the left there's no masking applied so the sharpening is always masked inside raw therapy i'm going to come back over to the raw tab now because i'm just telling you about this capture sharpening and you can see we can adjust the contrast threshold here we're not going to because we haven't got the module turned on but if i come over to um, the actual raw tab you can see the contrast threshold is grayed out that's because there's a tick in this little checkbox here and you can see we've got a little pop-up there that says automatic so this contrast threshold is being adjusted in the background by raw therapy automatically if I uncheck that checkbox and now I've got manual control over the slider if I take its value 
up to say 25 rather like that now you can see it's not sharpening these areas around the periphery of the image because fundamentally there's nothing sharp in there so all I will be doing is adding sharpness capture sharpening to my areas of super low frequency detail because if you remember if I turn the mask off we've got no high frequency detail in these areas none to speak of anyway so I don't want to you have the capture sharpening um, I'm going to leave the gamma slider until I talk about this again um, because we have to have a somewhat different approach to it when we're dealing with a frame which is full of high frequency detail or we're doing, dealing with say a landscape but we do have this corner radius boost which you can see is set to zero so it's not on it's off if we move this to the right if this was a landscape image you would actually begin to see more sharpening coming into the corners which is sort of a good thing if you've got a good lens but its softness wanders off into the outer parts of the image circle and of course if you're shooting portraits which you could fundamentally class this as a portrait we can have a negative value by moving the slider to the left of the midpoint and so what that will do is, is in effect start to remove the capture sharpening from the outer confines of the image how cool is that and of course we can sharpen using iterations the same as we can sharpen with RLD convolution sharpening under the sharpening and details tab but I strongly suggest you leave it at 20 until you get used to working with iterations so there you go I mean it's quite a handy um, new feature that even though it is only in a development build in the, at the moment as far as I can see it is a portent of things to come Ooh, and so it will be extremely useful inside of raw therapy and I'm going to continue to use this build until what I take it will be raw therapy 5.8 comes out might be 5.7 still but I reckon it will be raw therapy 5.8 so if I take this up to 100% rather like that you can see it's super super sharp I think I'm going to uh, come back to the exposure panel again and I think I'm just going to put a little bit more saturation into the image don't want it oversaturated because oversaturated would be incorrect it wouldn't be natural and as a wildlife photographer you don't want to be using a lot of poetic license on your images unless you're doing backlit or high key stuff um, as a natural record shot you want things to be as natural and accurate as possible and that is accurate yes it is now the thing is on top of that capture sharpening which you could say is input sharpening if it was wanted if we wanted to we could go and activate the sharpening in the sharpening and details panel and we could turn that on and now it's gone super sharp I mean that is over sharp with the standard unsharp mask I might turn the amount down a little bit I'll go and activate the halo control and I will just remove the sharpening from the very darkest tones and the brightest highlights and I think he's looking really really super sharp I might actually turn the amount down to 130 and I think that looks a lot more acceptable so as far as I'm concerned now that image will be either ready for 
banging over into Photoshop for another quick edit. Not that I would actually bother doing an edit on this image. Or we could just go and save the image out into its into the same directory as the uh, raw file. Could save it out as a TIFF 16 bit. And of course, the output, because I showed you in the previous video how to make this MyBase PP3 and how to apply that processing profile as a default to be applied to any raw file that you bring into raw therapy. Of course, you can see the output profile is Prothoto. So there we go. So we could very easily just go and save it and save it back to the original raw file location and then we could go and import it back into Lightroom that way. I shan't bother. Um, click cancel. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I hope you found that useful, guys. Um, it's just something nice that you can get your hands on over the Christmas period. Um, this new capture sharpening inside the raw development tab of uh, raw therapy. Yeah, looking forward to that coming out in a proper public release. So there we go, guys. Hope that's been useful to you. Um, until the next time, have a good one. And uh, I shall see you on the other side. Yes. Toodaloo.